Hello everyone, Finger here from Bioformation, and today another Bionicle creation. Wow, that's been a while now, hasn't it? Wasn't it like somewhere last year with that really crappy thrown together thing? Yeah, let's take a look at this thing. So, uh, it is uh, named Skull Grinder, not to be mistaken with uh, Skull Grinder, because I am lazy and I didn't know what to do for its name, but it's basically a repurposed Tahu 2015, if I'm correct, with the gearbox body, with some new parts thrown on, like, for example, big chunky shoulders and weirdly painted head and the original school grinder chest plate. Oh, and also, uh, you might be able to notice, but he is a ghost. He is not a skeleton or a alive being, but he is dead. So that's sort of his character, that he is dead. Uh, so that's why there is, like, transparent. I haven't reviewed Bionicle stuff in a while, so if it's crappy, then I'm sorry. But that's why he has, uh, like, all these transparent neon orange stuff. That is basically his ghost. Um, besides that little bit of red there, that should be... Doesn't come in that color. Um, and then the solid red is sort of his armor. And then the gunmetal is just there to complement it. Uh, I gave him a sword, which is a sword that, in the story that I created this guy for... Uh, you might have heard us talk about it a little bit, uh, but it's Rubenia. It's gone through a bunch of reboots, but in one of the one of the stories, he has this very specific sword at a, that's a system piece. But this Knight's Kingdom sword looked a lot like that system piece, and it was the same color, so I gave it to him. Um, the old model could store the sword on the back, but for this, I just repurposed this stand. I think. I don't know where it's from. As you can see, I stole some bits from it because, well, it's just a stand. But now that we're talking about the stand, if I pull it off, let's see how well he stands. Wow, that was completely unexpected, wasn't it now? But that's sort of uh, the thing. That's the reason why he has to stand. Obviously, he has no legs. At first, I did it with a foot, which looked like this, and I did not much like it. Well, first of all, because it's, it's a foot, uh, now, do keep in mind, I had the foot in red from the Praetorian Guard from Star Wars, but again, it wasn't really stable, like one thing at the table, and he falls over, something like that, one miss move, and he falls over. So I just went with a more familiar design that I think I stole from Rick's Electrica back in 2020. So yeah, that's it for this Skull Render thing. Um, I'm not sure if I will keep him, up, uh, well, built, or if I'll rip him apart after this, but... For now, I'll keep him. I'm Fungo from Barformation. Like, subscribe. Bye! <laughs>